uh, to go for today and for the future. I know Matt Josephs also wants to talk some A-Sun tournament. The Atlantic Sun tournament is underway on a Monday night in late February. We're going to talk about that in a bit. First, look, we swing all over the country. Let's go all the way out west to Idaho. You got the Vandals, right? The Idaho Vandals. What a great name. Montana Grizzlies. Uh, late in the year in the Big Sky Conference. This is Montana favored by five. Total is 139 in this matchup. Corby Craig, I am back to you. What did you like about this matchup? What stood out about playing a Big Sky game late in the regular season on a Monday night? I mean, look at that logo. I have to go with Montana there, huh? <laughs> that Grizzly, jeez. Uh, but no, in seriousness, I think this Idaho team is is falling off the map pretty quick. 50 points, 55, 53 in their last three games uh, versus some pretty good teams. Uh, the issue here is they don't match up well with Montana. They've only beat Montana once since 2018. And though it's different players, different schematics, I get that. Uh, Montana is a very efficient team. We see this year over year. And Idaho is by far the exact opposite. 341st in the nation and adjusted defensive efficiency. We see a team in Idaho who is going to struggle to score versus a pretty good Montana defense, though they have struggled uh, more this year than in years past. But you know Montana is going to be efficient on the offensive end. They always are. They have good schemes. They have very smart basketball players overall. So I think that uh, Idaho has traditionally struggled here, and they continue to Montana. This is a game that they can't lose. This is their last game of the season. Uh, Idaho, what, 4-13 and 13 in conference? So this is just one of those games that – you need to tack on to your conference resume heading into the tournament, and uh, I, I can't imagine that Montana doesn't get it done. Also, Montana has some pretty good free throw shooters. Free throw shooting 11th in the nation at 78% overall uh, with a couple, what, 86% free throw shooter in Moody. So let's say this game does come down to the wire and it becomes a foul fest. You're sitting on a whole number at five, uh, which could easily be covered in some late game fouls. So I, I like this Montana team overall as a well-coached traditional team and, and Idaho really struggling on the offensive and defensive end currently. And this is senior night, correct, for Idaho. Yes. Again, last place in the big sky. But you would think they would care on senior night. And strange things, Matt Joseph, uh, Josephs, can, ha can happen on senior night here with a Montana team that's kind of mid-pack in, the, in the, uh, the big sky. Eastern Washington has clinched the league at 16-1 and one as the top seed. Montana is 9-7. and seven. Any thoughts, Montana, a significant road favorite here by five. Any thoughts on this matchup tonight in Idaho? Um, my problem, my one problem would be, and I haven't done a lot of big sky this year. The few times I've dipped into there, I haven't done very well. So I've done a little bit less, but when it comes down to looking at the standings here, it doesn't matter what Montana does. They're locked into the four seed and you know, who cares if Idaho moves up one slot from where they are. So uh, my, that's just my one worry. You've got a Montana team that already knows they're going to play for the four seed, uh, hitting the road to play an Idaho team, as you just mentioned on senior night, maybe you get a little extra bump from senior night, but that's just the one thing. I usually, if I'm going to play one of these situations, I want a team that's got something to play for. And Montana is locked in to where they are. It's not like they're playing for the CBI, the CIT, whatever. So, like, that's just my one worry is if they treat this like a pleasure trip as opposed to a business trip. Corby Craig is all business. He says Montana will be all business. But again, they are the road team. We'll lock him in. He will lay the five points for another official play here on a Monday on the Montana Grizzlies. Uh, coming up here, uh, we shall see. And Mark makes a good point down there. It just depends on what se some teams uh, do. Some teams will play the seniors like right away at the beginning of a game and let them play in the first segment of the game, and then you don't ever see them again. I know some coaches do that uh, on senior night. There are some uh, coaches uh, that will let the seniors come out. You know, they have the picture of them of themselves. They have their family on the floor. They wave to the crowd, and you don't see them again. They don't play even on senior night. Uh, it, so it just depends on how much will they feed off of it, and it's been a bad year for the Vandals of Idaho. Will it continue tonight? Corby's thinking that it might very well.